Um, so music outright, why and how? Uh, we're a little bit in an unusual situation in this day and age. You know, having an in-house team of composers is, is kind of uh, um, a rare thing these days. Most of you in, in the audience were uh, composers or creatives. You m probably have some sort of experience as a freelancer, but we'll try, try and shed some light on how we try and go about supporting uh, an IP that has been around for about 10 years now. Um, these are some of the things we'll be discussing. We'll give an idea of who does what at Riot Games in terms of music, um, why we care about our IP and why it matters that we're working on it cons constantly, uh, how we b go about giving some form of consistency in our sound, um, all of us being individuals, you know, how we have a, a sound team, uh, a team sound, sorry. Um, we'll discuss our empathy for our player base, uh, and how we go about uh, checking in with them. Um, talk about our feedback culture, both on team level, but also something that's more right wide. And finally, what makes us truly added value besides our music, uh, and so our ability to be collaborators and developers. Um, so the teams at Ray Games, we have a core composition team, we have four members here, uh, an esports and events composition team, and something called Riot Music Group, also known as uh, Riot Records. Core composition team is comprised of five composers. We all work across League of Legends, esports, and other secret projects. Uh, and we all work out in our beautiful campus uh, in LA. And that's the five of us. Uh, Alex Nepple is not here today, um, but he's one of the team. Um, the esports and events uh, composition team, we have two composers. They primarily support um, League of Legends esports, and that's events, songs, and ceremony music. Um, and interestingly enough, and we'll talk more about it, the relationship we have with them and how we work with them now, all that came about from a collaboration we had on an album called Pentakill. Uh, and those guys work out of Europe. And we have Richard Thompson and Michael Pittman. Um, they're both British. Lovely accents, funny dudes. Uh, and then Wright Music Group, uh, Wright Records. And uh, Veranda, would you like to introduce uh, Wright Records? Yeah, Wright Records is sort of as it sounds like our internal almost uh, full service. Okay. Hello. Um, yeah, Wright Records is essentially our internal uh, record label. So we're able to do everything from A&R, creative direction for uh, music projects, and then distribution and marketing. And these are the lovely people on the project, Toa, Kirian, Joe. Veranda, Bob, and Sammy. Um, and yeah, they're the business and publishing arm and creative services uh, part of our team. Um, Nicole's going to be talking about how we're involved in developing the uh, IP of the game. Yes. 